the weather. <laughs> Keely, we've got some soggy yeah, sheets there. there. <laughs> keep it simple. Uh, yeah, it's been a dreary day, hasn't it? For most of us, it's been uh, pretty uh, miserable. The only bright thing uh, in the sky uh, was these uh, were these uh, umbrellas in the centre of York. And actually, um, most people's umbrellas, if you're anything like me, were blown in and out about uh, four, four or five times uh, on the lunch break today because it did turn out to be quite blustery as well. Uh, some rather menacing looking uh, thundery clouds or rain clouds uh, across uh, Scarborough or above Scarborough there in our second picture. You can keep your pictures coming in. Hopefully there'll be uh, a few more nicer scenes to take pictures off through the weekend on Twitter at Keely Donovan on Instagram Keely.Donovan I'm also on threads I've no idea how to use it um, and then there's the Weather Watchers website as well so it does look like the weekend will remain unsettled. I think today is probably uh, the worst day that we'll have, uh, but tomorrow it still does look unsettled. It's going to be windier tomorrow, so a blustery day to come, gusts up, potentially touching gale force in exposure. There'll be a mixture of some sunny spells, but also some showers, and some of the showers could well be heavy and thundering. It's all because low pressure is dominating our weather, fairly tightly packed isobars tomorrow. It moves off to the northeast, so uh, those isobars relax, a less breezy day on Sunday. Uh, but I'm afraid it does look unsettled right the way through next week and temperatures a little below par two uh, for the time of year. So this is the satellite picture from earlier. You can see the whole of the British Isles had a lot of cloud. Uh, so it's been a cloudy day. It's also, uh, for most of us, been a, a wet day. Uh, that rain uh, could be heavy in the short term, but you can see quite queerly, quickly clears uh, away through the night uh, with clear spells. A windy night to come, particularly along the coast. And we might just see a few showers starting to make their way in from the west later in the night. Temperatures fairly mild, down to around 12 or 13 degrees. So let's have a quick look at those high water times at 3.30 on the nose in Filey and at six minutes past three in Whitby. So tomorrow, a windy day, particularly gusty, I think, along the coast. We'll have a mix of sunny spells, but also a scattering of showers. And some of those showers could be heavy and thundery at times as well. And it will be a little bit warmer for most of us tomorrow. Temperatures getting up to around 18 or 19 degrees. But remember, with the strength of the wind, it will feel a little chilly. Having said that, the wind is from a relatively mild direction. Looking further ahead into Sunday, it won't be as windy, but it will still be breezy. So a day on Sunday, once again, of sunny spells and scatter showers. A similar theme for most of next week, with temperatures remaining below average. Amanda? Oh dear, and a big Children's Day event at Roundhay Park tonight too, so oh uh, pack your umbrella. <laughs>